What's up everybody, Frank A's HP Collectibles here with another card show pickups and walkthrough video on Saturday, April 29th, 2023. I went to the East Valley Card Show in Mesa, Arizona. I got some great stuff and I will show those pickups very shortly here. I'll do background and pickups soon, but first I will show you the walkthrough of the show itself. I'm not gonna commentate over it. I'm not gonna have any background music on it. You're gonna get the sights and the sounds of the show. Uh, feel free to use the timestamps in the description or on the timeline of the video itself to kind of skip around to what you want to see or what you don't want to see. I know some of you come here just straight for the walkthrough. Some of you come here just straight for the pickups. No matter why you're here, please give me a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it uh, if you enjoy this video or if you get something out of it uh, or if you, uh, you know, feel that I deserve it. So either way, uh, let's go ahead and get started with that show walkthrough. I'll be back with the pickups and the background in just a sec. How's it going? Good, you? Good, good. <laughs> you happy to be here? Always. Always. See an 80 pack, 80 cello. Nice. Franco Harris front, too. like two years ago when he wasn't hitting right yeah. <laughs> I sold a bunch before that and how old is the house kind of turned around and super young. so I play fantasy baseball and I've had Kelnick ever since he got drafted until this until this season when they didn't keep him <laughs> like, and now he is like he's a bust <laughs> like he goes down to minors and shows he can hit but he comes back up to the majors and can't hit occasional pop here and there but like ah, I don't know and now all of a sudden he's figured it out Sometimes those guys take a few years, even top prospects. Oh yeah, very quickly. He's got the sophomore slump going a little bit right now. Yeah, just a little. He'll be all right though. Oh yeah, I think he'll be fine. Worried about the pitcher. Yeah, old pens. Yeah. 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 Castillo yeah. 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 No, they're not side by side. Morning. I'm waking up. Just got my caffeine in, so. What's up, Lance? Doing all right, waking up. You got them refractors yet, or? Yeah, there's a lot of them in this case over here, and some of them are in boxes. Okay. 
but yeah, I got some Pops Chrome. There's some basketball, Pops Chrome refractors, extractors, all that good stuff. I was thinking maybe you, uh, maybe you like had a stack that was stashed for me or something. <laughs> I thought I was special. You are a special man. Yeah. Don't let anyone tell you different. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. If you want to stash that for me, and I'll go through all the stuff once I uh, I'm more seventies, eighties. Okay. So do, you remember, do you remember these? That's 1969, yeah, 1970. Yeah, Domrus. Yeah, I think that stuff's the coolest. Oh, it's very stinky. Very stinky. And they're in such good condition. It's a year older than I am. It's a lot better than mine. You want to be old, bro? You're good, man. Don't worry about me. Doing all right yourself? Excuse me, guys, squeezing in. How are you doing today? Doing all right yourself? I'm, I don't get in. I'm too old for trouble, man. I don't, I don't get into it. If you'd ask 16-year-old me if I was getting in trouble, I would have said, hell yeah, but probably with a more expletive, but I'm, I'm too old for that now. Yeah, I, 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 I
I buy those too. But the problem is, because I'm open too, and they're cheap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know I'm going to be looking for Frank, how you doing, little boy? Looking for anything special? Right. Uh, the videos were real deal, man. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. I, uh, Slappy here told me he's found him one day. Oh, okay. So. Cool, man. Right on. Yeah, I, I just, I do it because it's fun. Yeah. You know? Look at what those fools look at. Get it on your video. Without one day, it's all over Hey Riker. Are there <laughs> all right welcome back hopefully you enjoyed that show walkthrough uh let's go ahead and jump into the background get that done and then get on the pickups this background pulled another McFarlane figure out of my McFarlane's box and I pulled out Marshall Falk. So I thought I would stick a little Marshall Falk background here. We have his 1994 Topps Rookie in a PSA 8. Not the greatest grade, but I am just happy to have it. And then two Marshall Falk cards that I haven't even shown on my football mail times yet. Uh, those have been coming out every Saturday. But uh, here we are with the Special Effects Parallel Rookie in a PSA 7. Also not the greatest grade, but very cool. Those are really cool. One in four packs. Uh, tough to get a great player on. And then 1995 tops from the Panthers inaugural box set, which both the Panthers box set and the Jaguars box set were limited to 4,000 sets. Uh, but that is the 1,000 yard club subset of Marshall Falk, part of the regular set, card number 10, with the Panther stamp on there for the uh, for the box set inaugural Panthers. So very, very cool, very nice. Good old Marshall Falk, first two years in the league in the background there. Um, let's go ahead and get started. We have pickups from a Jason. So uh, sometimes guys don't have business cards or don't have uh, Instagram card Instagrams or card Twitters or anything for me to give them shout outs for so I'll just use their name but here we are 2015 tops red border which is the target exclusive not numbered in the 1981 football design good old Antonio Gates future Hall of Famer should be first ballot Hall of Famer uh, I think he's eligible in one more year, maybe 2024, maybe 2025, I don't remember. But got to love a little Antonio Gates there. Pretty sure I have the gold number to 150 of that. Um, and a Stefan Diggs from the la this last, well, the last year's Optic, because this year's is not out yet. But uh, what is that, 2021 then? 2021 Optic, Stefan Diggs Hollow. So that's from Jason number one. Next up, we have Jason number two. <laughs> and uh, we have two more cards here. I got a Kevin Garnett sticker from, I believe this is from Upper Deck Collector's Choice, even though it does not say Collector's Choice. I could be wrong on that, but one thing I did notice, yeah, it does say it's Collector's Choice back here. But if you notice, see if I can get this in focus this is in dual language so Italian this is an Italian release Kevin Garnett sticker from Italian collector's choice uh, probably 96 97 maybe 97 98 I don't know me I'll put it on screen 
but you just don't see uh, the European releases very often. And when you do, it's usually base cards. So I, you don't usually see a lot of the inserts. Um, and then a Ben Simmons, I don't know, Red Wave optic. I'm not entirely sure. Ben Simmons is kind of a laughing stock right now, but he is like a four time all star. So I don't know, whatever. I'll pick him up when I see him sometimes, you know, if they're if they're cheap enough. Uh, moving along, we got Billy and Billy and Friend, who is Epicenter Cards. Maybe that's Epicenter underscore cards. I don't know. I will put it on screen. But I got a Steve Nash, Chrome Rookie. Very, very cool. Steve Nash, 96-97, Topps Chrome Rookie. Uh, it's got great centering. There is some edging, uh, some edge wear on the bottom. You can't really see it in the sleeve that well. And uh, other than that, it's pretty good condition. Minor greening, which is to be expected for 96, 97. But uh, very cool, Topps Chrome Nash Rookie, Hall of Famer, beautiful. I wanna get one graded at some point, but that'll do the job for now. And then we have pickups from Lance Tucker. Lance from the Arizona Facebook group and uh, see him at a ton of the shows. He had previously told me he had picked up some re refractors and uh, he would, you know, said, hey, I got some refractors for you. And, okay, sure. Love me some refractors. So 2002 Tim Brown Black Refractor. Uh, black refractors are kind of tough to come by. Um, in a decent player, but here we have Hall of Famer, Tim Brown, Sui numbered to $5.99. He did give me a great deal too, so did not pay the 15 here. I combined four cards for a pretty good deal from him. Uh, Sui numbered $5.99, as mentioned, beautiful 2002 Tim Brown color match, black refractor. Speaking of Tim Brown, I love me some season's best. And here we are, I want to say 1997, maybe 98. 98, I was off. But this is a season's best refractor of Tim Brown. Beautiful, beautiful card. Love me season's best, no matter, no matter the sport. But very cool. Uh, next up we have more Tim Brown, look at that. 1998 refractor, third year tops chrome. So I do not believe they had any other parallels other than just regular refractor in 1998. I don't think they started colors until 2001, maybe 2000. But uh, beautiful card, happy to have. Tim Brown, Hall of Fame refractors, gotta love it. Speaking of Hall of Fame refractors, Tim Duncan, season's best from 98.99. Uh, what's funny about this card, so let me see if I can pull it out here. So what's funny about this card is recently on one of my basketball mail times, I don't remember whether it's released or not, but I got this and it's labeled as a season's best refractor when in fact uh, from Chrome, when in fact it's not from Chrome and it's not a refractor. It's just the base tops season's best. So PSA mislabeled this card and I just recorded that on a basketball mail time and shortly thereafter then, as of today, I picked up a season's best refractor. So um, I just thought that was kind of funny, but you know, that's, that's, uh, that's the game. So not a huge haul here. What is this? Total of nine cards. Definitely not a great haul, uh, or not a, not a large haul. It is a great haul, especially with three Hall of Fame refractors, football, one Hall of Fame refractor, basketball, one Hall of Famer Chrome rookie, uh, a weird uh, European, what was it, Italian sticker from Collector's Choice, one optic in football color, one optic in basketball color, and a very cool Target exclusive 2015 60th anniversary Antonio Gates in the 81 design. Great haul, happy to have, great show as usual. Uh, if you liked the content, 
please hit like and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. You can also check out the Instagram and the Twitter right here. Ding! And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you have a good rest of day. I'll see you on the next vid. Peace.